Happy Vlogmas, friends. It is December 17th, Thursday. And today I am starting making tons of Christmas candies and treats and cookies and all the things for all the special people in our lives. I am going, I made a big Walmart order. I don't pick it up until tomorrow morning, 7 a.m. Um, but let me show you what all the things we're gonna make and I'm gonna try to make, get started today and make some stuff today with the stuff I already have. So we have no bake oatmeal cookies, going to do no cook fudge. I was on the Betty Crocker website and all sorts of things. Peanut butter blossoms. I had these growing up, loved those. Um, let's see, Christmas crinkle cookies. Never had those, sound good and easy. Um, gonna have the kids help me a little bit. Uh, classic sugar cookies. Some, this is Biscoff and white chocolate saltine toffee. But I was thinking about maybe Nutella instead of Biscoff. I don't know what that is. I didn't want to have it. My, you don't know what Nutella is. That's not, that's not what I said. I said Biscoff. Do you know what Biscoff is? No. No. I know what Nutella no. is. Do you know? Because no, I don't. Nutella is um, chocolate. It's hazelnut. So no, you don't know what it is because it's hazelnut. Well, it looks like chocolate. It does look like chocolate, but it's hazelnut butter. Um, mint chocolate chip cookies, classic snickerdoodle cookies. I'm probably going to make these, I'm going to make both of these. This was a three ingredient sugar cookie. I saw this, where did I see this? Oh, I think it was, no, I don't know where I saw this. Oh, I saw it in a magazine. That I had. I finally sat down and looked at some magazines, my holiday magazines, and I found um, something very similar in one of the magazines. And then I got an email from Betty Crocker saying it was the cookie of the day. And I want to try it out. It's only three ingredients. Well, technically it's four. Um, but I want to try that out. Look what I made. That's pretty. Okay, I have Christmas crack Chex Mix. Caramel churro chips mix. We probably won't make this one. This is the one I was wanting to do for fall. Um, ooey almond and coconut chips mix. Got a Walmart return in here. These are all the things I printed. And I have some math placement tests. Let me get through those. Going to try to make homemade divinity. And... I have classic no bake cookies. I'm supposed to have a Martha Washington balls because I'm wanting to make those too. So lots of stuff to make. Let's get into making something. Christmas memories. I've been working so much lately. I can barely find the time to sleep. Yeah, I spend my time running around, keeping people pleased. This is my favorite holiday. It's okay, I just got done making some Christmas crack. Interesting name. Yes, I know. Um, this time it does not include ranch, cheddar, and bacon bits. <laughs> it seems like all the food items I make um, say that when they say it's called something as crack. Okay, um, let me show you what I put in it. Okay, I put a couple of cups. Like, so there's a recipe here. There's really no need for a recipe. What you do is you mix some pretzels, you mix some peanuts, you mix some uh, Cheerios, and you mix some Chex, which I used all of those. Um, here's some corn ones, like these types, this kind of thing. Crispix, Chex, corn squares, whatever brand you want. Um, and then I also added some mini M&Ms, and I also sprinkled with these I don't even know what they're called, non perils I don't know. But let me show you what they look like. So then I put it, oh, I heat up. So I put everything in this bowl. Then heat up some white chocolate. Have you seen my notebook? No, I have not seen your notebook. Stay away from the goodies, okay? Don't touch the goodies. What are you doing with the goodies? 
<laughs> um, we're gonna let it dry. We gotta let it dry, and then we're gonna bag it up. Okay? You can have some later. Okay? To give to give it away to people. Okay. <laughs> okay, good. You won't like it. Go on. <laughs> but I do like pretzels. You do like pretzels? I can get you some pretzels as a snack. Um, but what you do is throw it all in here. You melt uh, either almond bark or white chocolate chips. You could even do this with dark um, brown chocolate chips, milk chocolate. And melt it and then stir it all together. Then lay it out on parchment paper to let it dry and harden. We're getting there. It will kind of um, group up together. That won't focus. Um, it'll group up together and like. once it does, once it's all hard, then we'll put it in bags. Uh -uh. So. Can't even bite. You wanna, you wanna bite? No. <laughs> I'll take a bite. Okay, this candy is going to be hard not to just sit here and eat all of it. I'm gonna have to bag that up quick before I eat it all. Okay, now I'm trying three ingredient sugar cookies. You need butter, sugar, and flour. And then we're using these and gonna roll it in there. Okay, two sticks is a cup of butter, so we're gonna put that in there. And we're doing Half a cup and we're going to cream this with a half a cup of sugar. Cause I missed you so I'm letting go of everything but you. These are the good times with you. Baby, this year is just gonna be you and me Hang by the fire and chill Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories, oh And I've been longing to hold you close Forget about everyone else Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories Okay, we blended up the sugar and the butter, and now we added two and a one fourth cups of flour. We're gonna mix this all up. So I feel like this is a good idea, but I also feel like I'm knocking more off than I am. Once I get them on, then I'm knocking them off. So not sure, but here's two options for you to figure it out. But we'll we'll cover this in plastic wrap and refrigerate it until when we want to cook them, we'll take it out. You'll slice them the way you want. Hold on, and heat oven at 350, and then bake for 12 to 14 minutes, and cool for two, and then put on a cooling rack. So, and it says they'll be completely cool in about 40 minutes. So this is something you can make ahead, and then um, when you're ready to cook them, take them out and slice them and bake, so. Okay, so this is what our finished product looks like. We're going to refrigerate this, put it in the refrigerator, 
when we want to bake a cookie, pull them out and cut them and then heat your oven to 350 and bake for 12 to 14 minutes. And now we are going to make Oreo cake balls. Um, 24 Oreos, four ounce softened cream cheese, which is half of one of these. So we might double that. Candy melts and then heavy whipping cream. This is to melt the candy later. So what you do is mix the, uh, mix everything up. You mix everything up and then you chill it in the fridge. You mix everything up, make little balls and then chill it in the fridge. That's the step we're gonna do right now until tomorrow when I have the candy melts. Dip it in chocolate and it'll form a heart shell. Thanks for hanging out with us. If you'd like to see more videos, go ahead and subscribe and give this video a like. You can also hit that bell for notifications when we post new videos. Thanks for watching. We hope you come back.